Guys, this is not the same doorway as the other video uh, putting the mud and the beads on, all right? But there is one, two, three, four of them in this house, plus some off angles and all that stuff. But all I'm saying is it's the same thing, all right? So today, instead of using my 13 inch flat trowel and then my 13 inch flat trowel again, all I did was pretend my 13 was a 10. So I'd use it about like almost halfway through just when I'm coating, you know, when I'm coating the corner bead, half of the trowel is sticking out. So, but this time I've got a, uh, you can kind of see it, yeah. So this is about a, an eighth of an inch. And uh, yeah, the curved trowel for your first coat on corner beads, it is a must, all right? So I always start my the top down. So just like, um, well, actually, I don't think I said this in the other video, but I always start with the middle of the uh, corner bead, the middle of the doorway, or even if it's a column, I'll start with the middle of the column, one side, the other side. And the reason why is because I just wipe it once down the middle, leave as much mud as I can, do both sides nice and tight, and then my final pass right down the center, clean up those edges, okay? So, again, I like to start with the middle, whoa, okay, just load it. The middle and the top, right? Okay. Whoop. mud is this but it was much smoother on the wall and it didn't leave as many pinholes or lines because this as soon as it gets a little bit dirty or a little bit dry it leaves streaks and this is just a Home Depot special you know it's a QLT quality whatever by Marshalltown they're like 13 bucks instead of my 80 90 dollar trial right so i did the top now i do the sides okay okay so and now it's real quick
don't know. I don't know if you can see those uh, scratches, but that's the thing, man, with this steel trowel. It's, it leaves, like, yeah, like I said, it looks like scratches on the, the surface of your mud. But it's okay because I'm not using this curved trowel for the skim coat. I'm using my stainless steel flat trowel for all the skim. This is just first coat. That's it. So I really quickly, ugly as possible, leave as much mud as possible and just done the inside rope, right? Now, we can take care of the outside. Again, now that the inside is done, I want to shoot everything into the corner beam. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Again. Okay. Now I can go back. Oh, might as well put mud. Okay. Woo! Let's do it. Ooh, see that? It just skipped. Chunk of dry mud. Okay. And that's all I do. I just make my way all as the way around. Oh boy, what is going on? It's good to 
see different uh, people interested in taping because uh, there is a lot of girls that are professional painters, tapers, framers, plumbers. Why not? Especially taping, right? All you need to worry about is a trowel, knife, whatever, pan, whatever floats your boat. Alright? And there you go. That's how I coat um, my corner bead. I'm not going to film the inside because you can't see. Um, so, because I have enough room here, I'm going to do two separate uh, corner beads, but on the final skim, I'm going to use my skimming blade and go from corner to corner here. But, that's the thing, when you skim that out, don't leave your blade really, really flat. You really want to try to put it steep, so like at a, at a 90 degree angle from your wall, or just a slight, like a 15 degree angle. That way you're not bending the shit out of the blade and, and hollowing it out all over again. You really want a straight, straight edge. All right? So that's it for the first coat of corner beads. And I'm keep on keeping on there. I could show you woo roughly what I've already done. See, I've already done all these uh, these corner beads back here. And there's one more in that bathroom over there. But uh, this is the next room over here. Um, it's a couple of no coats and I hit those no coats right away with my, uh, with my five inch knife uh, when installing it. And then now, now that it's bone dry, I'm going to use my nail spotter and uh, just skim them just that edge, right? Where the tape stops and meets the drywall. Skim it with the nail spotter, done deal. Alright guys, have a good one, and uh, I hope everything's good for you guys. Take care.